what is open AI? And there's just answer from the AI. So you can access this anytime, anywhere from our list. This is an independent watch RS app. It doesn't need to be tethered to an iPhone. Nice. Hi everyone, welcome back to XCA. So in this video, we're going to build a ChatGPT Swift UI watch OS app. It's going to be an independent watch OS app. So without further ado, let me show you the live demo of this app. So here I have the Apple Watch Ultra simulator running watch OS 9.1. So here we have the list, we have the button to send and the button to clear the list. So let me send a message by tapping this. Okay, it will present the text field. Now let me select this dictation. What is a transistor? Okay, done. Okay, let's send the message. It's waiting for the chat GPT to answer. Okay, there you go. There is your answer. Nice. It works flawlessly. This is using the same view that we used to build the iOS than the Mac OS app previously. Okay, so this is the Mac OS app that we built in the previous video as well as the iOS app in the previous video before. Okay, so this is the final application that we are going to build. And now let's just begin to build this. Okay, so let me open the previous project. So in the previous project, we have two targets. This one is the iOS and this one is the macOS target. So let's just create a new target now. Select watch OS and select application from the template. Give it a name of XC, uh, XCA chat GPT watch. So you can give it any name that you want, okay? This is just an example for me. Okay, select watch only app and then click finish. Can activate the new scheme. Okay, it creates the scheme for us now. And let me select the simulator. I want to use this Apple Watch Ultra simulator, okay? And Okay, like before, we have this uh, folder created for us containing the application and the content view. And for now, we don't need this content view because we already have it. We have already built in, in the previous video. Okay, move to trash inside this watch app folder. And inside this shared, this shared source files between all the platforms, select all of these file, source files. And select this XCI ChatGPT Watch Watch app. Okay, this one, the latest one. Okay, the last one. Sorry. Okay, we already shared all the source files, so we should be able to access those source, those API inside the Watch OS target. Okay, and now let's just copy and paste this that object. We're going to put the state object in the app okay and provide your api key get it from the open ai website okay and pass this pm okay and let's just try to build first okay okay gives an error build fail let me just close the canvas we don't need this okay the first one tag selection okay so this copy and paste obviously not available on the watch os target so we're going to add a conditional compilation if the os that we are building is mac os or ios okay os ios or os mac os only in these two targets we are going to add that modifier Okay, let's start to build again. Okay, so this this is fixed text selection. Next one is rounded border. Okay, rounded border is not available in watch OS. We can do the same, right? 
if the OS is iOS or the OS is Mac OS, only we will include this text will start on that border. Okay, now the build succeeded, but I think some UI will be broken when running on this. Okay, <laughs> look at this this bottom view containing the text field and the send button. So basically, we're not going to use this. As I show you in the demo folder, we will have two buttons. Those, those are the toolbar buttons. And the first one is send. Basically, it will present a text field where the user can input or dictate. And whenever the user uh, tap done, it will just send the message. Okay. So first, let's remove this. Uh, this one it should be this one so like always add the conditional completion if the os that we are building is ios or uh, mac os okay then we will include that bottom view try again yeah this looks good now we need to add let me see watch app Okay, let's put it into a navigation stack. We display the navigation title and we want to set the title display mode to inline. Okay, let's see. There you go. We have the navigation title at the top. And next one, let's put the toolbar. But before that, I want to add something in here. So I want to add edges, ignoring save area. First one is horizontal, okay, and the bottom. So I will extend through the horizontal edges in here and the bottom as well. Next one is let's add a toolbar modifier. Inside this toolbar modifier, let's add a toolbar item group. Toolbar item group. And inside that, let's put uh, two buttons side by side. First one is button. Let's go use this title action. Pass the string. First one is send. Okay. In the closure, we basically need to use the watch kit uh, API to present that text field model, right? So for this, I'm going to just copy and paste this extension for the app right so i create an extension for the app and basically this is the method present input controller so basically it called this wk extension dot shared dot visible interface controller and then invoke present text controller for the suggestion it we will just pass an empty string we won't suggest anything okay and basically after the user completes typing it will invoke this completion okay now let's Put that inside the send self dot present input controller suggestion just pass an empty array and then result given the name of result and let's switch to the main actor in here to the task in you know, inside the main actor this is an async task async context first let's check if the result trimming characters in white spaces and new lines is not empty. In that case, we are going to continue. Otherwise, we're going to return. Okay. Now, continuing on, let's set the input message in the view model. So, this is specifically bounded to the text field. But in this case, we don't have the text field in our view, main view. We're just going to assign this using this result. And let's also trim it. Create some white space and new lines. Okay. And now, we can just input view model send tap okay this will simulate send uh tapping the button that we previously add in the bottom view okay okay we have the send button let's try to build looks good after this send let's create the second button which is clear okay it will clear the list so let's make this role as destructive let me adjust my camera in here i'm too big okay 
inside this closure, we simply need to invoke invoke view model clear message to clear all the message inside the list. Next, let's set the thin to red in here and set the disable to VM is in. So we are going to disable this button in case the view model is interacting with the chat GPT or if the view model that message list is currently empty. Okay. And let me add a padding bottom to this edge tag as well. Okay, let's build and run. Okay. Oh, one more thing, the send button, it doesn't have the tin. Okay. So to do that in iOS, you need to go to the assets and select this accent color. Okay. And select this and select any dark and this any appearance just add it to anything that you want for me i'm going to put it in the system teal color okay this one as well okay now let's before i forget let's also add some assets for the profile icon and the chat gpt icon okay uh let me give it a name of open ai Okay, let's use the assets from this show in Finder. AI, watch app, assets, open AI. Let me drag this, copy. And this one is the profile. It's just my profile picture. You can use your own profile picture if you want, okay, for your own application. And let's start to build. nice we have the tin in here so this is currently disabled this is why it's grayed out now let's just try this send what is transistor done okay let's wait for the response okay there you go that's the response from chat gpt Uh, one more thing, if you see in this message row view, we will basically adjust this image and uh, text. We're going to, instead of putting it inside of HTAC, which will take the place, right? Too much space, the horizontal space, we will put this inside and these two inside an H V stack instead, okay? So we will have much better horizontal space for this text, okay? Let's go to the message row view so we already have this message row let's just copy and paste this i'm just going to give it a name of message row content and we don't need the background color remove that parameter and select all of this so all of the views inside the H tag, select all of that and cut it, put it here. And to make this work, you need to put this view builder annotation. Okay. Okay, let's build again. It will succeed it, but let's not just run it before. So basically, in here I want to add conditional, right? So if the targets that we are building is currently iOS or Mac OS we're going to use the edge tag okay else it's going to be for now we assume watch OS right okay for the else but probably in the future we will have tvOS we need to handle that as well okay so for the iOS or Mac OS you just Invoke this message row content, message row content, hold option, enter. Okay, it will give all the parameters, pass the text, the image, the response error, and show dot loading. And for now, just copy all of these modifiers, paste it here. And for the watch OS, let's declare a free stack. 
alignment leading and let's put the spacing of 8 between the image and the text and for now let me just copy and paste this okay this is incorrect actually this padding should be inside the h step not inside the not for the message row content okay that's what we want mm. one more thing one more thing i think the image is too big for the watch os screen size which is very small so let's declare a far private far private far here that sidebar image size returns g size so in here if the os is ios or ios is mac os and else okay in case it is or ios or mac os let's just return cg size of 25 and 25 that is this that is the size that we are currently using but for the else okay this case it is assumed to be watch os we're going to just use 20 by 20 and whenever we, when we declare this image in here let's just change this to call image size dot width image size dot height okay cut Put it here as well in the else build and run will succeed it okay let's send again what is a transistor done okay looks nice 20 by 20 and we now have much larger horizontal space to display the text nice yeah looks good we already have this let's so declare button now is enabled because we have the message in the list and also the chat gpt is not currently waiting for response let me tap on this clear it should clear all the message nice nice what a subtle fade animation okay so yeah that's basically the Steve ui app watch os Steve ui app for the chat gpt we will this probably under around 10 minutes it's very fast because we are mostly using the same component right that we already used for the ios and the mac os okay so that's it for this video like this video if you like subscribe if you want to subscribe and thank you for always following this channel and supporting me so as always before i close this let's keep on being a lifelong learner and until the next one goodbye